I haven't been to Fraser since I was 12. We have seven nights to do a full lap of Fraser. I've always wanted to take Nay. It is World Heritage listed, the largest sand island in the world. Fraser is a bucket list destination for any full driver. If you've been following along with our adventures after we crossed over from the NT into Queensland last week, we have traveled over 2,000 kilometers, stayed at one incredibly awesome hip camp and camped at free and low cost campsites along the way. And now we are all ready to head over to Gari, Fraser Island. We have our camping booked, our vehicle permit. We are full on diesel, water and food, but we have not emptied our chemical toilet, had a shower, or done any clothes washing for a really long time. Oh, well guys, I've aired down. I've double checked the hubs are locked this time. And that, folks, is what happens if you do a few things wrong. A, forget to lock your hubs. B, don't let your tires down. I'm feeling a bit nervous. I do not want to get bogged below the high tide line and I don't want to get bogged and hold people up. In skip points, our first challenge we're going to get through. Here we go. I think it's going to be fine, Shan. I think it will be too. It's watching this cruiser in front of me go through. Looks like he's done it with ease. Fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> There's only four cars in front of us. We're on the next barge. We've done it. We've gotten through in skip point. I think I don't want to celebrate too early, but that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm so pumped. I'm concerned about two things. One, how bad will the Minjis be? Because we stayed here last night at Pelican Bay and I've already been devoured by Midges. And my concern number two are actually the dingoes. I'm gonna feel perfectly safe when I'm in the car and I'm going to want to see the dingoes, but when I'm actually outside of the safety of the car, I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm just not a dog person. So when you see a cute little dog walking down the street, this is what you see and this is what I see. I'm sure it's all gonna be fine. Here comes our barge. Well, we've finally found the East Coast weather. It's raining, it's blowing a gale, and it's actually a little bit too cold. <laughs> you ready? Yep. We've just paid for the barge ticket, 130 bucks return. I think it's not bad. Let the adventures begin. Oh, we're off. We're on Fraser. Don't get bogged, Shannon. Not in front of 50 cars. cars everywhere coming in both directions we just need to clear this little section then find our little slice of paradise This is us, we're camping in zone two tonight. Cute little spot. Let's have some lunch. Mm. 
Bogum after the rats will sell. We actually have one bar of 4G, so I just checked the weather. Oh my word. It's coming. See, it's you can coming. see the rain. Yep. We need to get... set up our awning. We're gonna get pumped. Pumped hard. Oh, I just it should, the first drop. It should be a quick passing storm, but there was some colour to it. Let's get into it quick. This is our first official test of the new canopy setup in rain. I don't think we're going to be able to cook there if it's pouring. Oh my goodness, look at it come down. Oh my gosh. Our old canopy used to be the full width, which meant that we were so much more protected. Shannon's parked perfectly. The weather is coming in directly to the side of the car, so we're more protected on this side than on the other side. But we are definitely more exposed now to bad weather with a shorter canopy. We knew this was gonna happen, but it's just a little passing storm. So we'll hunker down and then um, it'll, it'll pass over. Like that the storm's gone it is so incredibly windy crazy windy we've got blue skies a little bit above us we've also got other little storm patches off in the distance i think it's just going to keep swirling around all afternoon oh my goodness that was crazy i just counted 18 vehicles in like under 30 seconds yeah it's definitely busier on the beach than we were expecting oh, and when yeah. we first got off that barge oh my goodness there were cars it was a everywhere. highway Fun fact for you guys, there's around 400,000 people who visit Whoa. Gari, Fraser Island, every single year. 350,000 people every year camp here, which is like That's almost 1,000 people a night. 1,000 a night? Mm-hmm. That's mental. And they say that this is the largest sand island in the world. Good thing it is, eh? Good thing. I've just checked the radar. We have a few more storms coming this afternoon, early evening. So I'm chucking the billy rice on now. I reckon I got 20 minutes if I'm lucky. Bring it to the boil, wrap it in a towel, pop it on the front seat, let it cook while we have another storm pass. That's the plan. I hope that I've actually made the right call on this one and it's not gonna just piss down in rain while we're trying to cook our billy rice. safe and sound. Looks like the bulk of this rain is just going to go a little bit around us to the south. Fingers crossed. I feel a cold. I wish I could put socks on. I wish I could put long pants on and socks too, but my feet are like, you know when you buy a donut and they roll it in icing? It's just too wet. Dry. And then wet. So windy. Oh yeah. One of the other best bits about Billy Rice is if you decide to have a quick shower after you've cooked your rice, oh, nice warm towel, pre-warm towel. It's like having a, a heated towel rail. Oh, it's bloody freezing. I've got my flannel on. I've got shoes and socks on. I've got a singlet on underneath and... Ooh, long pants. I haven't worn pants in four months. A bit chilly. We need to acclimatise. Yeah, way too far south. We need to head north again. <laughs> We're not going north, guys. Let us know in the comments if you want me to head north again. Check out this in proportion to my head. It's a bloody massive plate of food and I'm going to smash the whole thing. That's one of our favourite meals. A mountain of Mexican food. And then as well, a massive serving for Shannon for lunch the next day. It's a, oh. it's a solid feed. I'm in love. 
beach is behind me. Mexican plate. Life doesn't get much better. Let's get stuck into it. And a quiet campground. Oh. There's no one there. Really Bloody. expecting this to fill up. Bloody thousand people a day camped here and we get the campground to ourselves. They're not in zone two. No one's here. Can you see down there? That's our closest camper. The track keeps going to more camping, but we can't see anyone down that way either. Nice private little zone here, Shan. Love it. Do you think you can actually finish your plate, Shannon? Oh yeah. Why have I not finished a plate of food? Of an example too. What did you think of? Well, I had a double hernia surgery. I didn't eat for ages. Oh yeah, he got so, so skinny. He got mm. down into the sixties, guys. He looks so sick. It's high tide in about half an hour, and we're just curious to see how much beach is left. actually left yeah. for driving on. Not much. Oh wow, there's only probably like three car widths worth of beach left. Super pretty but real moody with the dark clouds and the storms rolling around. I really like it. Well guys, I've paced it out and it's about 15 meters. Good morning, good guys. Morning. We slept, actually, I slept terribly. Oh, I slept great. Mm. I slept good until midnight, and then my midgy bites from the day night before last started to. Great night's sleep itchy. last night. We had eight meals of rain overnight. Mm, we did. We slept in this morning, packed up, made bacon and eggs, had a uh, bucket wash. Yep. Had a run in with a spider, oh, which yeah. scared Shannon. He doesn't it like spiders. Huge, as big it as was my head. big. Accidentally deleted all the footage that we filmed this morning. So let's hit the road and make some more footage. Let's go check out some Fraser. as we go that way as well we're not attracting dingoes or it's smelly rubbish to camp this is Crazy how busy this is. Let's go for a swim. Heaps busier than what we were expecting. It's still quite fresh to be honest, but we're but going for our, it. We've got our twenty dollar. $10, oh, Kmart, $10 floaty, Kmart floaty, but we've only got one, so we've got to share it. Bye. I 
get to wash my hair this morning. So I'm gonna do it and get my hair wet. It's very fresh, but not like sweet. So relaxing, even though it's so busy. Beautiful. How was that? It wasn't as cold as I was expecting. It was really good. Heaps of fun. Oh, we're going to be here a while. Not as easy as you would think. made it down to the Mahino wreck on the beach gonna go check it out we saw a scale model at the Happy Valley convenience store this morning which is pretty cool it was a uh, hospital ship it wrecked on my birthday but 1936 and I'm not that old 28th of March it's a good day for me bad day for them That's right guys, we are cooking ham and pineapple pizza for lunch. Yummo! Oh, yum yum yum! Cheers! Cheers! Look at that goodness! Oh, ham and pineapple pizza! Amazing. Much needed. Mm, getting a bit hungry. This is home for tonight, zone six. We've got a gutter out the front for Shannon to fish. We're a little bit less protected, but more vantage of the beach from camp today.
sun has gone behind the hill, the temperature has started to drop. We've got the pasta on the bubbler, Nay's making chicken strog for dinner. We're jumping in the swag early because we've got some big plans for tomorrow.